Stick with me for the next few minutes. I'm going to show you the only model you need to predictably attract high paying coaching clients. Yeah, seriously. Hey guys, what's going on? Uriel Kim here, founder and CEO of Healthpreneur. And we help health professionals build successful virtual health practices and coaching businesses. And in this video, like I said, I'm going to show you the only model really that you need to sustainably and predictably get clients coming into your business and paying you high ticket prices, not because you're trying to gouge them, but because it's the best way to serve them to true transformation. Now, if you're watching this, you're probably trying a thousand different things. You're probably creating content no one sees or posting on social media or trying to take, you know, Instagram stories of every single thing you're doing. Hey guys, here I am doing a YouTube video. It's, it's exhausting, right? And the reality is that it's not sustainable uh, because it requires 100% of your time. And if you're hiring other people to do that work, then obviously you need money to pay them in order to make the money you need clients coming in. If you're not charging enough, that's another issue. Um, offering free challenges, lead magnets, all that kind of stuff. I wanna show you a better way, okay? A saner way, it's a model that we've used to build our business to multiple, multiple seven figures and that's helped our clients earn collectively more than $100 million in their businesses online. So it's called, actually, let me share my screen with you. That might be easiest. So here's the deal. It's called the perfect client pipeline. And it is the most effective way to get clients. Yes, and I'm not German. I apologize, but I enjoy doing accents here and there. So here's the deal. There are four steps to this business model. And then kind of one other thing that we'll mention. So here's the challenge that most coaches face is that you come into the world of coaching, whether it's health or, or elsewhere, and you start off kind of unhappy because no one knows you. You're like, um, how do I get clients? No one knows who I am. How do I stand out amongst all the noise? And what we want is we want to end up over here where we're happy. Yay, clients coming in. Now, um, spiritual lesson, you should not, your happiness should not be dependent upon you enrolling clients. Okay, so we'll save that lesson for another day, but I just wanted to mention that because getting clients doesn't equate to happiness, but generally will be more fulfilled if we're, you know, if we're getting clients and, and helping people. Okay, so first and foremost, um, before I before I go into this, let me come back on camera here. Uh, I want to just take out a bazooka for a second and I want to blast organic and social marketing um, because it doesn't work. It doesn't work if you're relatively new and you don't have a large following. And I say that because it doesn't. And if you don't believe me, try starting an Instagram account and growing it to several tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people in the next couple of months. Unless you're taking bikini pictures, it's probably not gonna happen. I've been online since 2006 and I've seen a lot of things happen over time. And one of the things that I've noticed with most social and organic platforms is like with TikTok, right now as of this recording, it's probably the only social platform that will allow some organic virality. Like it's the only place you can play to get something going. If you've had nothing, like it's actually pretty interesting. But there will come a time where the algorithm will kick in, just like it did on Facebook, just like it has on Instagram, where only the big players are gonna get favored and the small fish are gonna to continue to get squished. So you're gonna spend a tremendous amount of time trying to push a boulder up the hill and it's just not going to work. So what I'm gonna to suggest to you instead is that you have to learn how to pay money to acquire clients. And that means spending money on advertising. God forbid, God forbid we should actually spend money in our business because online everything is supposed to be free, right? Not, if you're a health professional and you have a clinic, you're probably spending thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars a month on equipment and lease. In fact, there was a very interesting piece of research that was done amongst uh, chiropractors in the US. They asked them, where are you most likely to invest your money in the next 12 months? 
Number one was continuing education. At the very bottom of the list was marketing. That is absolutely shocking. And it's one of the biggest reasons that most businesses do not succeed. They think word of mouth is good enough. It's not good enough online. It's not good enough because you don't have enough track record yet to build word of mouth. If you have a successful practice, amazing. Keep it going. Word of mouth is amazing, but you have no control over it, okay? So what I'm gonna suggest you here in the Perfect Client Pipeline, what I'm sharing with you here is that you have to learn um, to run ads. Now, the Perfect Client Pipeline, the beautiful part about this is that it is platform agnostic. I don't care if you run YouTube ads, Facebook ads, Pinterest ads, or if you eventually don't even run ads and all of your organic content goes into your Perfect Client Pipeline, if you'll notice, the link below is gonna take you into our Perfect Client Pipeline and this is not a video. Sorry, this is not, a, this is not an ad. Every piece of content we build comes into our Perfect Client Pipeline and there's a very specific reason for that. And I would suggest that it probably does the same for you. So let's have a look at what this all looks like. Okay, so we are, we got four steps, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is something called PP, which is not you know what you think it is, but it's called predictable prospecting. Predictable prospecting is a way where you can find the ideal people you wanna work with without you actually doing any of the work. Predictable prospecting. What that means is we put together an ad, and I'm gonna talk about Facebook here because Facebook is probably the best platform for most people to start on regardless of all the stuff that's happened with iOS, et cetera. Um, every single person you ever want to serve is on Facebook. There's more than, what, 3 billion users, I think, on the platform. You're going to find your people, okay? It doesn't matter how exclusive they are, how cool they are. I'm sure Brad Pitt hangs out on Facebook too. So, predictable prospecting. Imagine you have a message that you write up, okay? So this is your Facebook ad, and there's a little button to click on. And this is going out 24 seven. You're sleeping, you're hanging out by the pool, you're playing with the kids, you're working with clients, and this is working for you 24 seven. You write it once, it works on your behalf for as long as you keep it active. How much you wanna spend a day is up to you. We recommend 15 to 20 bucks, okay? It doesn't have to break the bank. So what's gonna happen is this is gonna be put in front of the exact people you wanna target. You tell Facebook, I wanna to speak to people who are interested in Lululemon. Cool. So this ad will be shown to people between the ages of whatever and whatever who like Lululemon, assuming that's an audience you think is gonna do well. And there you go. Okay, so that's step one. Now, where do people go from the ad? Well, the next piece is we take them to a presentation that we call Teach to Sell. Not Teach to Teach, Teach to Sell. It has a very specific purpose. Teach, add value, indoctrinate people, motivate them to want to work with you. It's very simple, okay? If people want to teach to teach, they can hang on, on YouTube all day and, you know, hope for the best. So Teach to Sell is a, a masterclass, webinar, online presentation, whatever you want to call it, and it's something you record once. It lives online forever until you want to update or change it or whatever, but it works evergreen very much like your ad does on Facebook. So here, people are going to watch something on their screen, on their computer, that is gonna be, you know, could be 45 to 60 minutes, you know, ish. And it's going to be a very informative, belief-breaking, inspiring, eye-opening presentation around the topic they're speaking about in your ad. It takes them into further depth and shows case studies and examples and shows them how it all works, okay? The purpose is it adds massive value. It doesn't necessarily give away all the how because that's never going to be valuable to people watching because they're not going to take it. They're not going to do anything with it because it's free. But the purpose is to position you as the best possible option for them to work with. If that's the case, a certain percentage of those people will want to go to the next step, which we call ask and assess, which is essentially an online application where people answer a few questions. And we, as the coach, receive that application 
and assess whether or not we want to speak with them. Now, let's just stop here for a second. Hi, good to have you back. One of the biggest challenges that we see is people will do two things. Coaches will do two things. Number one, they'll get people on the phone with them who have no understanding of how they work and they are not positioned properly. So when the person ends up on the phone, they're like, yeah, like what? Like I saw some of your stuff online, but what exactly do you do? You never want to have a conversation with someone who has no context of what you do or how you can help them. Or they put a button on their website that says, hey, book a free discovery call, which ends up being the same thing. We actually had a client of ours. Actually, I'm going to read this to you. This is actually super, super inspiring. Uh, da, da, da. All right, so this is actually a, a gym owner. So we, we help health professionals, practitioners, coaches, gym owners, etc. And he was saying, um, ba, 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 ba. okay, so I'm just reading the last piece of, of what he wrote. We're also finally attracting the clients we want to work with. We used to run a high volume lead approach and I would run, I, the owner here, would run six to seven calls per day. And I'm reading this to you from my Slack message, okay? Six to seven calls per day. I've personally done over 700 calls since the pandemic started. It was leading to burnout and very, very few people were good fits. That's the key word there. Very few people were good fit. I found myself getting very good at convincing people to do our program for way too little. At one point, I was going low as $29 for one week, no commitments. And now the people who are booking in are going through our application process to join us. And I am deciding if they're allowed to go beyond border control. Anyways, he talks about his money, the money they're making, all this kind of stuff. And I, and I share that with you because I just got this message yesterday. And it goes to show the power of what Robert Cialdini talks about in his tremendous book called Presuasion, which you have to read if you haven't read, Presuasion. And it's the, it's the concept of what people see before the offer greatly impacts the conversion of the offer. So the reason the perfect client pipeline works so well, and it works every single time, there are nuances that need to be dialed in. Maybe you don't find the right audience initially. Maybe your ad needs to be better, et cetera. But it works 100% of the time. And the reason it works is because it pre-frames what you do, and it pre-qualifies people, and it warms them up to you so that the, by the time they speak with you, they have more know, like, and trust for you. They've seen social proof. They believe what you do can actually work. And they've seen other people like them who've achieved success. Even if you don't have a lot of social proof, as long as you're able to position what you do in a way that's new, different, and logical in the sense of, yes, this will produce an outcome, you're more likely to get people saying, like, yes, like, how do we do this? Okay? So this works every single time. And hopefully you're starting to see why this might be a bit more powerful than just a Here's a one-page cheat sheet. Okay, so let's get back to the diagram here. Um, and okay, so yeah, so we'll ask and assess. The people filled an application, and the final piece here is what we call coach to close. Okay, so this is essentially a uh, phone call. This is going to be, uh, apparently it's a phone. I, I don't even know what that is. Okay, so it's a phone conversation you have with them. And again, the key here is we call coach to close. It is not a pick my brain call. It is a call to see if we are a good fit to work together, but it's not a sales call, okay? It is a coaching conversation where you are able to get to the truth about what's happening in someone's life and help them to a better outcome. If you feel they're a good fit and they see the value in working with you, then you can talk about what the next step is, which will be working together, right? So at this point, you take payment, they give you the money, Everyone's happy and you move on to the next step, which is what I call a dream country system, which is how you coach people beyond just one-on-one. -on -one. Sorry if you hear some screaming in the background. It's, uh, it's the little two-year-olds. That's what happens when you work from home and everyone's at home as well. Anyways, okay. So that's the deal. So that's the perfect client pipeline and it works every single time without fail unless you stop and give up because you can't figure it out. And again, it's tough to figure this out on your own because there's nuances, right? And there's nuances because I've mentioned this in previous videos. There's three things you have to get dialed in with this. You have to know your market, you have to know your message, and you have to dial in your magic. And if you don't know what those are, then this is probably not going to work as well as you want it to. 
It's easy to set up a funnel. Anyone can set up a funnel, but why don't most funnels work? Because they don't understand the nuances. They don't understand the nuances of their single target market. They don't know how to dial in their messaging and they don't know how to craft an offer, i.e. the magic, to make people salivate to work with them. So if you'd like help with this, here's what I'd love for you to do right now. If you found this valuable, there's a link right in the description below, click on it, watch the Perfect Client Pipeline Masterclass. I'm gonna go into greater depth here. You're gonna see tons of case studies. I'm gonna go a little bit more into how this all works. And if you'd like our help about how this can work in your business, if you're a health practitioner or a coach in the health, wellness, or fitness space, then you can go ahead and book a call to speak with us and we can see if there's a mutual fit for us to work together so we can help you get better results, which basically means more clients, more money, more time back, better quality of life, more impact, all that good stuff. And you can do that toward the end of the masterclass. So go ahead and click the link below in the description. Watch it now. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks so much.